Today, I was just playing Roblox Jujitsu shenanigans when the game updated. But make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell before we get into the update. Anyways, the update has a new character, and it's Choso. And its in-game name is Blood Manipulator, and it has three new moves, which is pretty crazy. This moveset also has an R ability. The user summons four blood orbs, which is required to buff Blood Manipulator's moves. But sadly, this will take up some of the Awakening bar when you used and it can't be used if there isn't enough awakening now the first move is piercing blood and we shoot out a pin beam of blood that has about 30 studs of range the first move also has a variant if you use your r ability and you hold one for a while it'll use one ball to charge an unblockable piercing blood with significantly greater range and damage this variant has approximately double the range like 60 to 65 studs and the damage is about 33 to 34 which is crazy the second move is flowing red scale it's a rush move similar to curse strikes you dash forward for a short distance basically half curse strikes dash and if the move hits it performs this move on the opponent and at the end you pick them away and ragdoll them it can also hit ragdolled opponents which is crazy but it consumes a blood orb if there's one available buffing the damage it does about 10 to 12 damage the third move is supernova and it requires a blood orb to use it and the blood bomb mimics the user's movement but only the movement, not the camera. You can detonate the bombs using R, and you could also have multiple bombs. The bombs will detonate in the order they were originally placed, and disappear if the user is damaged no matter what, and it does about 10 damage. The first move is blockable, bypasses ragdoll, and interruptible, but the variant is unblockable, bypasses ragdoll, and interruptible, which is eh, kinda good but the damage covers up for it. The second and third are the same with or without orbs. Blockable, bypasses ragdoll, and interruptible. If you're wondering about the ultimate, it doesn't work. Watch, see, the ultimate bar hasn't been added yet. Honestly, this character is not bad nor good. It has some AOE with Supernova, has both ranged and melee capabilities. The Piercing Blood variant does high damage with a short charging time. Decent damage for all moves. All moves bypass Ragdoll, meaning you could start a combo when the opponent is on the ground, which is super overpowered. The bad things are it only has three moves, the Awakening hasn't been added, and you need to press R just to use one move four times, which is way too complicated. And the R ability drains Awakening by 8%, which is crazy. All moves are interruptible and Supernova can be cancelled with a singular punch. So it's pretty garbage, unless you're a skilled player and can remember all of the tips and tricks that you might find when the base moveset and ultimate is complete. Now let's talk about Mahito. The Awakening has been reverted to its previous state, meaning that all of the classic moves you loved are back. And that's not all. The developers have added combat trails to Mahito's melees. Mahito's Gauntless also got a new melee animation. And for all of you Mahito mains out there, good news. The body repel variant no longer consumes cooldown for your focus strikes. Anyways, make sure to drop a comment below on your thoughts about Choso and the Mahito adjustments. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Jujutsu shenanigans content.